middle school art teacher at the American International School of Chennai, India. And my goal for my coattail project was to bring the end of the year art show to life. And to do this, I wanted to integrate more technology into the art show to give my students a chance to reflect about their artwork in a little bit different way. And also, it, I wanted to give the viewers a chance to see into the artist's mind a little bit and have an understanding about how they created their works of art and their thoughts, their thought process behind that. Um, even though, yes, sometimes you could have a description below the artwork with just words explaining um, about the piece, it's not the same as having the artist there themselves to talk about their work. And to do this, I use an application called Erasma, which is a device or an application that's on mobile devices um, that works much like a QR code to bring the artwork to life. So instead of scanning a QR code, you actually scan the artwork and a video plays. So uh, without further ado, here is a little bit more about Erasma and integrating technology into the middle school art show. Thank you. Erasma, how Erasma works with your artwork? My illustrations show a young boy. Hi, my name is Guillaume, so this is my watercolor painting. So I made it. With Erasma is a form of augmented reality. So the video plays over the image or artwork, and then the surrounding area remains the same. To do this portrait of my brother because I thought the tiger really resembled his personality, and together I thought that their identities went well together. This is like my brother. All we did is we just used the stones and clothes to make this. So, so we just make it out and keep going. this portion, students had the opportunity to try out a variety of iPad apps to find the application that was best for them. So they could use Morpho, Green Screen, Puppet Pals, 8mm, Funny Movie Maker, and iMovie. And then I gave them just specific instructions for uploading and making sure that they saved the video properly. So here is Morpho and how it works. like that you can change different features of it so you can change Hi, where the eyes are the nose. I'm in a desert now and it's really hot well I see two couples of camels and rattlesnake and a desert fox well I also see some we set up our own green screen studio in the art room um, I did a green screen video and um, I, it was it really fun to like look at because like it's like on my portrait when you scan it I appear like next to my face which it, it looked really cool and uh, making it also was really nice. Was it difficult, easy? What were your thoughts about um, the process? It was, it was pretty easy to make but like uploading it to Erasmo was like took a long time but like the rest was really nice. Alright, thank you. Filters, Photoshop, and using filters and
make a negative and how do you make a negative is you go on the computer, go on Photoshop, take a picture that you took. To connect their video and image, they went onto Erasmus on their laptops. In Erasmus, they uploaded their images of their artwork, which is called a trigger image, and then they also uploaded their video, which is called their overlay. I think you got it now? Yeah. Alright, so do you think you could do it again now that you understand it? Smoother. Yeah. Smoother? Okay. Yeah. Okay. The final step is connecting them as an aura under the AISC channel. How do you know which artworks that will work with Erasma? Okay. Every artwork with this mark. Encourage the students to incorporate a wide variety of technology to enhance their art. A sculpture project. I'm going to use this to make you make things. Okay, make you make. Yep. Yeah. So basically, when you touch a wire while holding this wire, mm -hmm. um, there is a sound. Okay. Coming. Can you show me? Okay. Like you have to put this on. Okay. Hoping that this will teach people and show people how how hard it is to get people what they're going through right now and how we can help them. Great. My students were really excited to use the 3D printing pen because it allowed them the flexibility to draw anything that they wanted and uh, make it three dimensional. I made a, I made something which I don't know what it is. to the show, parents and students were encouraged to download the Erasmus app and subscribe to the AISC channel before they arrived, but if they didn't, we had a, an iPad area set up with headphones so people could check those out and use those while they were at the show. Here's an example of a sculpture and somebody scanning the photo of the sculpture. to 
demonstrate like mouth is coming out of the lipstick and I into the like, hole to this charm like, because like I think it was a really good opportunity to use like new tool like like in our like first one in my life. Get our like um, work together and here change like, all the problems by having technology. Like it would be really good. Like it's not only in just like art room or just like museum. It's not kind of like really strict thing to like art is something like art person. It just kind of like, everyone can just use like and everyone is easy to express their thoughts and demonstrate what they want with the technology. How do you see technology evolving in the future uh, in middle school art in our middle school art program here? I think that what we did just now was like really cool and it was new and it was a fun experience for all of us. And I can see us building off of this into more of like actual interactive apps, like like how we had the Mickey Mickey and you touch it and then it pops up or something like that. You know, with more technology, more possibilities kind of awaken. That having this in the art show is really helpful for us because now we can actually have like the experience of how it is in real day-to-day -day interaction.